Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas, and let's plug this Nord into the computer, see what we can do. I'm going to break this video up into three parts. One, I'm going to get the Nord Stage 3 updated to the latest OS. One recently came out this month, just a couple of days ago actually, as I'm making this video. And we're going to update the Nord to the latest version. Then we're going to install the sample editor, number three because that is now compatible with the Nord Stage 3. And then finally, we're gonna install the Sound Manager and install the White Grand into the Nord and test that out. I'm gonna break this up into three short videos, so if you just wanna watch one of them, you can go to that. So we're gonna start off in this video with updating the Nord Stage 3 to the latest OS. First thing we're gonna do is go to the computer, and I've got the Nord website pulled up right here. The website may change or not. Right here you can see they've got a flash news thing for the sample editor number three being new. Over in the right hand side here they have the latest OS's. So what I'm gonna do is click on the Nord Stage 3 V2.54 and if you can't find the latest OS here in the panel, go up to the downloads and go over to the Stage 3 or whatever stage or Nord you have and you can see that the latest update is right there. Came out on the 4th of March, 2020. Pick the one if you're using Mac or Windows, make sure you pick the right update file. And you can download the update instructions right here. I've got them here. These give a detailed outline for both Windows and Mac of how to install the OS. I already downloaded the update file. So I'm gonna jump to that folder. And right here, update Nord stage three. So we're gonna unzip this. I just do an extract all to my computer and I'm going to show the extracted files when complete. So it's going to extract the files from that zip and right there you've got an exe. Now the first thing that we need to do before we can even update this keyboard is to plug it in. <laughs> right now it's not plugged into the computer, it's plugged in via audio to my audio interface and that's that. Got a USB cable right here, this came with the Nord. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this from the back of the keyboard into the computer. But the first thing I'm gonna do is power down the Nord. Right now it's on. And I'm gonna power this down just as a precaution. I don't know if you absolutely have to do this anymore. As a precaution, just going to power down the keyboard. And in the back here, I'm gonna plug that in there and then into the computer. And nothing's gonna happen because the keyboard is off. But as soon as I turn the keyboard on, Windows should recognize that it's a new device that I've never plugged it into the computer before. So I'm gonna do that. And Windows should find the appropriate driver for it. On my screen here on the Nord, right now I'm on 2.22 for a version. So I'm gonna bump that up to 2.54. There have been a couple of things that have changed over the past few releases. One of them they've changed so that the keyboard supports the sample editor three and then they've done a bunch of bug fixes and done some recategorization of sounds some split some stuff up like that nothing major in terms of new functionality but done a bunch of fixes for little bugs Nord is great in the support releasing OS's to fix bugs fix little issues add new features love it get what you pay for um, I have the Korg SV1 and it had one sample update or one sound update and that's it. There's been nothing else for that over the last, I don't know how long that keyboard's been out, 10 years? I've had it for five maybe, something like that. Anyway, back to this. So I'll be honest, I wasn't watching the computer to see if Windows grabbed and installed the driver for this automatically. The great thing is the sample editor and the sound manager both come with the driver as part of the installation. So if it's not installed, any one of the Nord software installs are going to notify you or install the update for you. So what we're gonna do is right click on the exe file and run as administrator. You might not have to do that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Sometimes, depending on your computer, the administrator mode helps to install things better. It says, please connect your Nord stage three to the USB port. So obviously it did not recognize it. So I'm gonna close this. And back here in my Nord folder, I do have the latest update. So I'm gonna extract that. I'll show you where I got it as it's extracting. Over in the downloads on the Nord, you can go to drivers and the Windows driver right there is applicable for all of their keyboards. It's just one USB driver for Clavia. 
So what we're gonna do is gonna go over there and I'm gonna run this and install the Nord driver. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna use the default location as the install location. And installing drivers. Technically I probably should have powered this down before installing the driver. Unfortunately I didn't, so we'll hope that it installed correctly. So that being the case, now I should be able to go back to my update right click run as administrator give it access and now you can see it says my current OS is 2.22 and I'm gonna click update so it recognized what the keyboard's gonna do is it's gonna reboot so right now on the screen on the keyboard it said rebooting and then it powered down it's erasing the OS it's gonna go through basically powered the keyboard up in update mode it's erasing the OS it's gonna install the new OS so we're going to leave it some time on the screen here, it says freeing up space for update. So we're gonna let this run, do its thing. Now it says sending update, we're about half done here on the keyboard here, it says receiving. And the little bar is moving about as fast as it is on the computer screen there. And now it says restarting, waiting for reboot to complete. The keyboard itself is rebooting and the OS now says version 2.54. That was easy. So basically to recap, we plugged the keyboard into the computer. Windows didn't recognize. If it does, you're okay. If it doesn't, you're gonna have to go download the driver and install the driver. Once we did that, it recognized it on the computer. We downloaded and we installed the update. It was as simple as clicking update. On the screen now, it says update completed successfully. We're gonna click done. And right then and there, the keyboard is updated. Super simple. Hope this was helpful to help you walk through these steps. If you're hesitant or if you're like me and it's easier to watch a video than to read the manual, there you go. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. Remember to stay inspired and keep making music. <laughs>